Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Q. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ and the question is in front of you. What is the major product of this reaction? Four options are provided. I request everyone please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start now. So here you can see one molecule. It's a three member ring, it reacts with one equivalent HPR. And if you look at all four options, from there it is clear it is an example of addition reaction. This is. Now, where the addition will take place? I mean, reducible activity. Now, if you look at this molecule, it has a two types of double bond. So, these two double bonds, this double bond 1 and 2, they are same. And if you look at double bond 3, it is different. Why? It is a secondary carbon, it is also a secondary carbon. It is also a secondary carbon, it is also a secondary carbon. But if you look at here, it is a secondary carbon. But this is a tertiary carbon. So there is the difference. Now question, where the addition will take place? Remember, here HBr addition take place to the double bond. And we know double bonds are actually electron rich because pi electron is loosely bound so that can react with H plus so this is an electron rich molecule H plus is electron diffusion so in this way reaction take place now if you look at what will be the product product will be this positive charge here why because in this way you can generate a secondary carbocation and by the way if you have this one then also reaction will take place here why because that time it is a tertiary carbocation and if you want to generate the another product I mean here hydrogen positive charge it is a secondary so from there you can understand that tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary because the carbocation secondary carbocation stability order is tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary greater than methyl plus this much knowledge is enough. Now in the first step there will be a addition of H plus from HBr. Actually HBr is a polar molecule. This is delta plus, this is delta minus and you can expect that this bond will abstract this, it will open up. So rest two double bond as it is. So here the positive charge at the tertiary carbon and here hydrogen addition. Now later on the Br- minus will go and attach and ultimately it will produce this product. So Br will attach to that tertiary carbon and two double bonds will remain as it is. This is the product. But in this situation someone may ask one question that sir it is a tertiary. Can this tertiary cation undergo rearrangement with this hydrogen to another tertiary? chances is very less and remember actually everything depends on reaction condition so for example time temperature etc so by changing the reaction condition you may get some amount of this product but we are here to solve one question mcq now look at what options are provided in the mcq does any option provided where the bromine attached here answer is no so we will not focus at there because our target is MCQ solving here. Now what is the major product? Okay, this one is the major product. Reason, stability of produced carbocation and by the way this is an example of Markov-Nikov's addition reaction. Okay, this Markov-Nikov's rule says during the addition of unsymmetrical alkene with unsymmetrical addendum I mean HBr the negative part of the addendum Br minus will attach to that carbon which is poorer in hydrogen so here one hydrogen exists it's a secondary and it is tertiary no hydrogen exists agree so this is the overall discussion now if you get this question in your exam hall how can you solve it less than 30 seconds it's a very easy I guess less than 10 seconds you can solve two double bond both sides secondary carbon secondary carbon but here tertiary carbon, the re addition reaction proceeds through carbocation as intermediate. 
so from that point you can conclude okay addition will take place here and the product will be this one and by the way if you look at the option if you understand okay addition will take place in this double bond how many options are there where it is mentioned actually none so using common sense also you can eliminate these three options okay so this is the overall discussion and by the way if you look at here and here both products are almost addition at same here another so that's not less logical compared to the option d it's a very easy problem but it's a very interesting also that's why i have selected so this is the overall discussion i believe this video may be useful if you really enjoy the content of my channel then please help this channel to grow and regarding the doubt of my channel's logo please visit this spot your doubt will be clear see you in my next video bye bye